In the session, we're going to cover the alerting features in Pyramid, which allows users to create data-driven alerts and notifications based on the query and the query results. To demonstrate, we're going to start by opening up an existing dashboard. At this point, I can go ahead and right-click on any data point on the dashboard, be it on the grid or on the chart, and decide to build myself an alert. The first thing is to choose when the alert should run. Do I want it to run when things are going up, when things are the same, or when things are going down? In this case, I'll choose to be alerted when things are going up. I simply type in a name, or use the name that is provided for me, set the numerical condition under which the alert should be triggered, which is already set to up based on my menu choice, but I can change it here to down or the same. Tell me the outcome. Am I happy about this? Am I sad about this or am I indifferent? In this case, I will be happy if things are going up. Choose when this thing should run. From the simplified schedule, I can choose when it will run. So at this point here, I'm going to choose for it to run hourly. And last, I need to choose where I should receive the alert. By default, it goes to the bulletin board inside the product. If I have messaging turned on, I can also choose to be emailed by the system when the alert is calculated and if the outcome is true. Last but not least, for professional users, I have an advanced switch where I can go in and highly customize the way the alert is going to work. But for this demonstration, I simply click Save, and that's it. I've now built myself an alert on that particular cell. Once my alerts have been run, I will get notifications either through email, as I said earlier, or via the bulletin board. You can see here on the bulletin board, I've got an indication I've got two messages. Clicking on it will show me that two alerts have been run for me, here is an example of the older one, and it's telling me that my gross margin for the United States is good, it's gone up, um, hence the green dot. Clicking on this icon will take me to the location of the item that was changed, and opening it up again will allow me to see it. If I've chosen to receive an email um, from the system, the email that will show up looks something like this. There's the alert, here's the status, and here is the outcome. For advanced users, the way to see an alert and to edit it is to go to the content management system, open up the relevant item, look at the metadata panel, and click on the alerts button to see all the alerts that have been set for it. Here I can click on the alert, I can edit it, I can also view the different runs that have been created, and from here you can see whether there was an outcome. Here you can see that two of these uh, detect an increase in gross margin for the United States, whereas in this particular run there was no alert notification because the gross margin for the United States has not gone up. As an admin, I can also come into the administration panel, click on the alerts under schedules, and view, see, or edit all the particular alerts that have been created in the system across all the users, either within my tenancy or across the whole framework.